This is the National Weather Service office here in Gaylord, Michigan, with your morning hazardous weather briefing for Tuesday, June 25th of 2013. Well, it seems like there's a lot here, but really we're just looking at thunderstorms over the next several days. We broke them down into three separate categories here. First of all, some isolated and scattered thunderstorms will be around today for all of northern Michigan. And this is possibly going to continue for late tonight with the next round coming in. Now, severe thunderstorms are not expected with any of these particular storms. Then we have a chance of thunderstorms that continue again Wednesday and Wednesday night, and that's mainly going to be in northern lower Michigan, south of M72. Again, these thunderstorms are not expected to be severe. And then finally, a chance of thunderstorms for all of northern Michigan for Thursday through the weekend. Now, severe weather is not expected with these either, but small hail is likely. Let's look at the current weather map here. We still have high pressure off the Atlantic that was nosing its way back into the eastern Great Lakes. We still have yet a frontal boundary across the heart of the country with some low pressure that was emerging from eastern Montana and northern Wyoming. We still had the juiciest and moist and unstable air across Iowa and southern Minnesota back through Nebraska. And right there north of the frontal boundary, we have more showers and thunderstorms for those particular areas of the country, which has received quite a bit of rainfall over the past several days. We have had some, some light showers across portions of northern lower Michigan, but most of our convection out there in the form of storms and showers have been over northern Lake Michigan and even across Whitefish Bay up in eastern upper. As we head into tomorrow, Wednesday morning, that low pressure from Montana and Wyoming will work its way into Minnesota. And that frontal boundary will start to jog a little bit further to the north, and we're going to see rain chances increasing as we go through late tonight and again right here through Wednesday. Now by Thursday morning, that low pressure continues to work off to the east, and we're still going to have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, but upstream there across Manitoba working its way into Ontario is another area of low pressure. And that particular area of low pressure will work its way down into the northern Great Lakes region and cooler air will start rushing into our neck of the woods. This particular low pressure will will bring the thunderstorm chance back into northern Michigan and also bring the chance for some small hail. Now as far as today and tonight, the severe weather outlook not really catching us. This is mainly going to be from Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa, and northern Illinois. It does kind of scrape near Manistee, but the chances for severe down there are uh, very minimal. Here are the probabilities back out to our west. We have the damaging winds and the large hail and even the tornadoes really focused out to our west. And again, that is for portions of Minnesota, Iowa, southwestern Wisconsin, and maybe clipping a little bit of northern Illinois. Now for the severe weather outlook Wednesday and Wednesday night. Again, we're just kind of skirting this, this slight chance for severe weather. Uh, but it is near us, but it's mainly going to be to our south. But we're going to stay warm and humid. We have temperatures again well into the 80s across northern lower Michigan. And in the upper 70s for most of eastern upper. Some better sunshine up that way too, while... More isolated to scattered uh, thunderstorms are expected across northern lower. Again, severe weather is unlikely with the thunderstorms today. And severe weather is also not expected for Wednesday and Wednesday evening. And those additional chances for thunderstorms that go Thursday and into the weekend, those, those storms may be producing some small hail. But again, severe weather not particularly expected with those either. And that'll wrap up this hazardous weather briefing. Please come back for our next scheduled broadcast at around 5 o'clock this afternoon. Thank you for listening to your National Weather Service here in Gaylord, Michigan.